Hello and welcome to Center for Victory's podcast of your best day yet. Here at Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. I am Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer at the Center for Victory. Today, I have a very, very special guest with me, a dear, dear friend of mine for years, uh, Pastor Larry Betancourt. It's great to have you on, PL. Love you and wish we could be doing this uh, side by side. But today, we're still hey. dealing with the uh, corona, and so we're going we're gonna to spread some hope uh, through this podcast this way. That's it. Well, first of all, man, Eric, it is, is great to be uh, uh, on the podcast with you today. And uh, hey, I just appreciate everything that you and Center for Victory are doing, uh, you know, as I follow you on social media. And uh, just, man, you're just uplifting, man, you're encouraging, you know, and you keep adding value to people, man. So uh, keep up the good work. And I'm, I'm glad uh, to get to be a part of this with you today, man. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have some, some really meaningful questions today that people have been have been asking a lot about and I think you can pro provide some really good insight for this and uh, knowing and doing what you've done for years uh, your work in in many churches your work with lots of work with youth and, and so we're gonna get into this uh, the, the first question here PL uh, that many people have been asking in difficult times like this what do we need to be mindful of yeah man. Uh, great great question so, uh, so my, my, my heart inclination goes towards this. What do we need to be mindful of? Like hope. I think that's the key word in any difficult times. Hope is the answer, right? Like if we, we got to have hope, man, uh, there's, there's an expression that says, um, hope deferred or hope waited on can even make the heart sick. And so, um, meaning that man, if we don't have hope, man, we're gonna just, just kind of bail. Uh, we will get depressed and uh, we will allow difficult times to crush us instead of us rising above them. And so when I think of hope, man, um, a picture of hope is an anchor. And so uh, I believe that 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 hope is an anchor. Really, hope is uh, uh, comes from what you believe in. So it's like, what do you believe in? And so that's why I appreciate even your encouragement. Uh, you know, as a friend to me, but also what you're doing through Center for Victory that, that, that you give hope that you help change beliefs, right? And that's, that's, that's what you do. Like, what are we thinking, right, is going to direct our lives, which is going to, and so we're focusing on the difficult times, man, we're, we're, we got to get our eyes up. So hope's that, that anchor of what we believe in. And so um, I, I'm not a fisherman, even though I'm from New Orleans, and I like shrimp, and, uh, but I've been shrimping before. And, um, you know some of the, some uh, some of these boats, and I remember when they threw an anchor out, and we were kind of like in a little bayou area there, and uh, and so uh, even the wind came in, so the the anchor from my little fishing boat kind of held down into the mud, and it it kept us in the place, even though sometimes the current was swaying us, right? The anchor, the hope, your hope kind of holds you in place during the storm, and so let's just say we're in a boat and we throw an anchor out and the storm, it's the storm, it's the COVID storm, right? It, it's, it's bombarding our minds. And so, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta use the hope, our anchor. And what are you anchored in? What are you believing that's going to help you, you know, so when the waves come, because they will come when the rain comes, because the rain will come. And when it, when it's rocky and wavy, like, what are you holding on to? And so to me, we got to have a hope. And so to me, like a, a hope is a reset. Like, so I know, that it's going to be a better day tomorrow, right? And that's a promise. Like, hey, eat, there's a new day tomorrow coming, so let's have hope. And so, so kind of a simple definition of, of, of hope, how it helps us reset is it hopes a refreshing truth that we're going to make it. Yeah. Uh, it's a refreshing, like hope's refreshing. Like when you know when you come to somebody and they're upbeat and they're positive, hey, man, and you're that a boy and you're high-fiving and, and, and uh, man, there's a refreshment with someone. And so that refreshment of that person's like, hey, they lift your spirits. Well, hope is that refreshing truth that's going to say you're going to make it. And it helps you reset your, your, your mindset to go on. And it's, like, and it's like, hey, man, like you and I, usually we get together and, and uh, you know, we, we, uh, we go on out and get a, uh, you know, we meet at a coffee shop and I like iced coffee. And so I, I, it's a refreshing thing to me. Like, well, hope, let it, let, let hope refresh you, whether 
whether your choice is a cold one, whether your choice is iced tea, well, like I miss that sweet Southern tea from my mama, or it's a, it's a Coke or whatever, right, man, let's be refreshing and let, let's know that your hope, right, uh, is, is going to hold you in the storm, but your hope's going to reset you, but your hope right is going to refresh you so yes thanks, man. good yeah thanks for that and then that that just leads us into the next question there uh pl you know a lot of, a lot of what i hear is okay what should i be doing what should i be focused on in these difficult times as they are what should our priorities be yeah well so what should our priorities? i mean we all know the list of priorities man you have, so let me just kind of come at this from a little different thought, right? Yeah. So in these difficult times, what should our priorities be? So our priorities in difficult times, like in, in COVID, is we need to be present, right? So what I mean by that is that we can't control these, like we can't control this unseen virus, right? You know, the invisible enemy, right? We, we, we have no control over it. We, we can't control the government when things are going to come back open. But we can control the present of what's going on. We can control how much news, how much cycle of the news, how much articles we're reading. Um, you know, we can control that. So we have to be aware and be present. And so really, this is a time, it's almost like some, I was talking to my, it's a gift. And so if you think about in these difficult times, our prayer, what our priorities should be, obviously we get it, right? You know, to me, it's my faith and it's my family and it's, and it, you know, it's my friends and, and it's the responsibilities that I have for, for, for the family of God. And so, so like, what are our priorities? Like, Hey, I need to be present. So when I'm with you right now, I need to be present or, or I've heard it say before, enjoy the moment. Hey, I need to, I need to be fully engaged. And so to me, like we have such a beautiful time again, not to lose hope, not to get discouraged. We can be anchored in and make the most of family, right? Like make the most of what matters most at the end of the day. And so I'm gonna live in the present. And so I've, uh, I've heard it say before, the present is a present. You know, like the present environment really is, is a present, is a gift. So how are we gonna unwrap this gift of difficult times? And and I believe when when we step into the difficult times, having a hope having an anchor that we know that today's today we're going to get through and tomorrow's going to be a better day yeah 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 it's uh you know i just got done this morning talking to to somebody or yesterday it was yesterday and and they said hey look you know i've, I've made things more of a priority which has actually made, helped me manage my time better during this time i'm feeling pretty good so hopefully some some other people are experiencing that as well uh the next question is um, what's some advice that you would give our, our watchers and listeners to strengthen our families during this time? Because we obviously, we, I think sure. everybody wants that, right? but not, not everybody's experiencing it. So what advice would you have to help us strengthen our families during this time? So, so I, I would say like the big word that we, we, we to talk about here is routines, right? Because uh, routines will help us even keep our, as we talked about last time, the last question was was our priorities like so routines really are I, I like to call routines like structure that gives stability you know so, so a routine is like if I need some 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 structure to build stability but but then that also if we if we are, are leaning towards that then it's also freedom to be spontaneous right so my routines and particularly now we have a little bit more um, uh, flexibility so the routines, right, give us structure that helps us be stable, but also brings freedom or a spontaneity, right? So where we can be flexible. So that that would be kind of a part of the advice of a routine. Like we have a lot because we're working, right? You know, some people, man, your, your heart hurts because they've been laid off at their job or they work at a manufacturer, you know, or whatever. And maybe they're, they're a, a waiter or a waitress or they own a small business and their routines have stopped. So you have to be able to establish some structure of what can you, you work on. And so um, I, I know for me, um, uh, you know, just the pace that we run, I'm grateful that this has made me 
slow down. The present, right, has made my pace slow down. And so I am able to, to and, I, and, I, and now I'm aware of, oh, we got all these house projects, right? And so, uh, um, I, I, but I don't like to declutter. I don't like to, you know, I mean, I like to organize things, but like, so I, I, I'm kind of in this, this, this time of like, okay, I got to go declutter. I have a, have a thousand books in my office and none of them are organized. <laughs> okay. So my advice is to me, is like, okay, get my normal routine, right? And then a tackle up a, a project. So eat that elephant one bite at a time, right? So, mm -hmm. so for, to me, almost with priorities, kind of this all flows together to, to strengthen our, our, our families is first of all, you got to strengthen you. Right. I, I love what you teach. You talk a lot about positive self-talk, positive affirmations. You 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 really encourage uh, uh, people to 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 speak good things, good words over themselves. So I'm sitting in this chair. This is kind of my my routine um, to help strengthen me, so I can then be engaged with my family, be present with them. I I, I come to this. I come to the chair, and 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 really, I'm I'm about a daily download. Uh, I, I have to start the day with a daily download. And, and for me, that's with my faith and just reading some things that are going to uplift me so that then I, I can, all right, hey, I took care of me. It's the whole thing in the airplane, right? When cabin pressure decreases, uh, first thing you do, right? Don't help somebody else. Put the mask on you so you can acclimate and then, then you can help others. Well, in this time, how, how we can strengthen our families because we have a responsibility to be an encourager. We have a responsibility, you know, particularly as men or even my wife. We all have our responsibility to take care of the kids and take care of the house. Like, we, 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 but we have to first take care of us. And so, so to me, it's having that daily download. And, and, and then from there, it's just, okay, what, what do I need? To, what's my, my short list that I need to tackle for work today? Who would I need to contact? How can I? you know priority how can i reach out to a family member or to a friend or a different situation and and um and so that's a that's kind of there that and then that frees me up to be uh to be free and then go on a walk and 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 do those things that 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 i need for me but also i can spend time with my family yeah that's very good and uh the last question pl uh you know you've worked with lots of, of families but especially a lot of youth uh during your days what what advice would you give folks especially parents right now how should we be talking to our children during these times because our children are reacting maybe differently to this than we might be but how should we be talking to our kids during this time sure man so so, so true man because uh, I, I truly believe a, a parent's responsibility is to to help their kids continue to take the next steps towards the next season in their life. And so to me, I, I like to say what you'll be talking to our, our kids during this time is, is uh, uh, just using the word when W I N like what's important now, you oh. know? So, so uh, if I'm going to talk to my kids, I, I want to be able to help them win. I, and so to me, you know, heard from Lou Holtz who, said when is what's important now so let, what's important now to them um one of my problems is because i'm a coach and i'm a teacher man and uh, I, I i i communicate a lot is i always want to be teaching my kids and and that's that that might not be what's important now so i i think it needs to be in this time because there's so much free time and with our kids is allowing them uh, where they are in our life. So if you're younger kids, just talking to them uh, about like, hey, this is a time where they can understand, like they ain't going to understand COVID or coronavirus or, or whatnot. It's like, hey, the world is kind of at pause right now because there's some people who are sick around the world. And so we're staying safe, like answer them on what they can uh, uh, comprehend, right? But that's what's important now. But then at the moment when they're you know, when they're when the kids are playing and and they're not sharing, like, hey guys, like this is a time where really family's important. Like we really gotta give up or we gotta say no so we can come together and do something when everybody wants to. So I, I believe it's like what's important at the moment for our kids. So with me, I, our kids are, you know, 
end of uh, end of the teen years into 20s and uh, you know, my one, I have four daughters and one of them doesn't live with us, but she's been coming and we've been having a lot of family time. We just been really opening up a lot about life because guess what? We're not rushed. Yeah. Right. It's like, we, we're, we're not gone anywhere. You know, that it's not like we have to, we, we're, we're gone or anything. Thank God. Now, man, if you, if you like a television show on Netflix and you know, you can record and come back and watch it later. And so like, what are we talking to our kids about? Like, we're, we're really getting into, 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 I think the opportunity with older kids is to get into some deep stuff. But yeah. again, it goes back to what you, you know, what are our priorities? Uh, we have to be able to even then routine structure that uh, and, and almost kind of gauge it and, um, and, and allow the present to bring up those situations. And so, um, and, and for me, I, 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 I've been asking the questions from this, like, what are you learning? What do you think about that? And so to, I have to do better job and, uh, and I'm learning to ask questions more than just kind of telling truths, you know? So I think we can ask the questions with, with our, no matter where our kids are at and, and understanding like, hey, this is what's important now for them. I just think we just need to take a fa- advantage of family time, you know? Um, you know, uh, you know, as I wrap up my, my, my final thought here is like, I, I truly believe as, as you started, you said, man, we just want to give people hope that I believe hope changes everything. You know, I believe that anchor that you have inside of you changes everything. And if, you, and if, and if somebody, you know, is feeling kind of hopeless or, or man, just the, the negative news or just things, all this is kind of overwhelming you. Like, that's why we're here for, I know you like reach out to somebody like, uh, reach out to somebody that can lift you up at a time because guess what you'll pay it for it at some time you'll be back on your feet man so no one should feel uh condemned or, or bummed out or like man i'm just no if, if that's where you are maybe just kind of do some do some uh some self-check some self-awareness like man am i getting too much outside stuff and not enough positive stuff mm-hmm. uh and, and then and then to remind yourself like hey hope because hope will change everything yeah, that's well. You summed it up well, and uh, always appreciate the conversation with you. Appreciate your friendship. Uh, it's been really good. Some some really good points here that I think people will, especially to these times, PL, that people will use and hopefully provide them with hope in in what they're doing and even inside their families. But uh, you know, that's all for today, folks. PL, again, thanks for being here. Hopefully, we can have you back again. Always an inspiration. Um, you know, just to remind you guys that the, what PL said. You know, help, hope helps us reset, and it's really just a refreshment of the truth. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you uh, leave this video a like and leave a comment down in the section, uh, the comment section, please. Uh, We'd also appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can get notified the next time the post post comes out. Uh, If you'd like more information, contact us at centerforvictory.com. And just remember, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, make this your best day yet. See you soon. Thanks, guys.